Hey, this is the Mobile Mini Show for Wednesday, July 7th, 2010. Today, iTunes hacks, Windows Phone 7 coming soon. Droid X makes our mini mobile spotlight, and our show today is brought to you by Footlocker.com. Watch for a discount code later in the episode that can save you cash. Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Eric Beeler. I'm Eric Johnson, and well, this is now episode two. That's right. We've come a long way. I've joined the show. <laughs> you did one yesterday, right? Yes. By yourself. How'd, yes. that, how'd that go? How'd the not, first not so good. I, we had good information, but I was boring. Okay, well, we're going to try to spice things up today just a little bit. <laughs> and on that note, we're just going to we're going to fly right into some cool stuff. So. The Apple iTunes hacking incident from the weekend finally received an acknowledgement from Apple. They stated that Tout Win and his apps that rose to the top of the charts over what appeared to be unauthorized purchases were removed from the store. In the statement, there was some mention of unauthorized purchases that were not a result of any iTunes shared information. Not much of an explanation, but continue to check your credit cards just in case yeah, you pulled your credit card off. Yes, I, I totally pulled it off. And by the way, you can go into iTunes and click none for your credit card in case you're wondering. So if you just want to kind of avoid this incident altogether, because I don't think Apple really has a good explanation up until this point. Right. And there's still talk from the next web about app farms. I just stay away. Yeah. You don't you don't want to be logging on and going, I didn't buy that game for $349. I don't know yeah. if it's that bad yet. No, the, it, it's almost that bad. Is it? Hundreds of dollars. Wow. Hundreds of dollars swiped from people's accounts. So, in other bad news for iPhone owners, it's been reported that more the, bad news for yeah, more, <laughs> the much improved upload speed of the iPhone 4 is now seeming, seemingly being capped by AT&T. Mac Rumors has a forum going with uh, speed comparisons, since some notice their upload speeds are ridiculously slow. Uh, comparisons on the for forum show uh, formerly 1 megabit upload speeds down to like 100K or lower. Uh, it's not happening everywhere, so natural, naturally an explanation of network saturation has been involved, but it's, it's you know, it's not likely the because... The phones are faster, yeah. so there could be like some saturation. Because like in LA, it's fine, and some other places it's not. So with a dip this extreme, something funny is probably going on. So we'll bring you the latest once AT&T gets a statement out. And it's specifically upload? Uh, upload only. Okay. What? What? I'm HSPDA network uh, is faster. The upload's incredibly faster. Yeah, but it well, seems like so they're where, capping it. I'm just curious. I guess where are people hitting? I mean, I guess if you're forwarding an email with a large attachment, where the are you large doing attachments, a lot of things like that, uploading video, and uh, there is speedtest.net for the iPhone, so you can actually test. Right, you can run the speed test. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right. So people are getting their butts kicked, huh? Yeah. Well, after Microsoft botched the Kin launch, all eyes are on the Redmond Giant to see if they can pull out their new smartphone death spiral with Windows Phone. 7. Yeah. Not, not Windows Mobile. No more Windows Mobile. Windows Phone 7. Reports are that AT&T is actually receiving pop material from this new phone OS. This may indicate an earlier date than the generic holiday 2010 timeline that they previously announced, but really don't know for sure yet. Yeah, no, no, for sure, but but since since the information is coming into the AT&T stores, we think uh, maybe this fall we'll probably see it. So this is a lot like when we went, I don't know when the iPhones are coming out, but no one gets a vacation at AT&T this yeah, week, so exactly. maybe. So we think maybe that's I, our we week. think it looks like two phones, uh, from what Engadget is saying, are going to be involved in the initial launch. And uh, just on, on a side note, is it too late for Windows Phone Seven? Have they? Are they if they can the get curve? out this year, I think they've got a chance because Android's still pulling up. Yeah. To to iPhone, but iPhone certainly got the the mind share market share. Yeah, absolutely. And finally, you iPhone 4 junkies may be still waiting for your white models, but it looks like the Evo lovers will get Christmas in July with the white Evo already landing in several Best Buy stores. The pre-orders originally scheduled for July 11th may get filled early. I don't get it, okay? Because here's I've got the iPhone 4. I don't have uh -huh. it with me. Otherwise, I'd pull it out and show you. Um, but... The first thing most people do when they get it is throw a cover on it so they don't break it. So why do people really care if it's white or yellow or um, green um, or blue? You, you know, you you may not be fashion conscious, which is going, which is kind of weird. You may not be a hipster, but I, most iPhone four I mean, people look at me. are conscious right? of what they and and they get the different color cases and but things like that. But that's my point. You have the case. Yeah, but you, people who have white yeah. iPhones love their white iPhones, even though they're yellow. I don't. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the news. That's the Mini Mobile News Report. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at Droid X in our Mini Mobile Spotlight. The Mini Mobile Show is a paid affiliate of Footlocker.com. Check them out. Footlocker.com. Great stuff. Running shoes, athletic apparel, you name it. Check their website out. Footlocker.com. And if you use our code AFCTECHFL, you'll get 15% off your order. Today we're going to take a second and do a mini mobile spotlight on Droid X, the latest Android phone from Motorola. 
yeah. out there competing with iPhone. That's and some right. Of the big ones. Yeah, you know? this one is going straight for the iPhone. It's feature packed. It's a big phone. It's got a 4.3 inch screen. What's iPhone three and a half? For yeah, comparison sake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about it, and it's, the Evo. it's almost at four. Yeah. And the Evo it's slightly bigger than the Evo okay. at 800 by 480. So um, it's all touch screen, unlike the original Droid. No Which keyboard. The keyboard. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it's got three microphones to enhance noise calculation cancellation. And in early test calls, uh, reception is excellent. Well, now is the reception good even? Who's well? Okay, I guess I should ask. Who? What carriers gonna, are going to have the droid? This is going to be Verizon for the Droid brand because okay. Verizon owns Droid, but you'll find it under different names from different carriers. Because I've, I've you know, with the iPhone again. That's the one, I, the one that I have. The reception's good when you get a call. Yeah, for me It's AT &T, when you right? get a call to go through. <laughs> so I'm just wondering what that's going to do. But no, this this definitely continues the the trends of some of our phones moving to the wireless and standard yeah, right. um, and getting on Wi-Fi and the Android uh, Droid X. I'm sorry. Supposedly this phone gives you eight hours of talk time. Yeah, and we'll have to eight wait hours. to see the test when it comes out. Of, uh, but uh, it is going to be running Android 2.1 with the Moto Blur extensions, and 2.2 uh, will be coming uh, pretty soon. Reportedly with the flash extensions. Okay, uh, yeah. and that's something iPhone doesn't have. What about uh, other features? So well, we've got messaging iPhone? integration, much uh, much like uh, on the iPhone, where we saw we could integrate our exchange and things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So multi multi giving us single, a single, single inbox. Yeah, that's yes. right. As well as your exchange and Google calendars and uh, address books will combine your friends from Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. So now everyone can find you. That's right. What about notes? Anything for syncing notes? No, I don't think no so. No one seems to do that yet. Yeah, no, that's uh, right. It's a one gigahertz TIOMAP processor, and it's even faster than the Snapdragon, mm -hmm. which is featured in the Evo. It also has uh, built in eight gigabytes of onboard memory, and you mentioned micro SD card slot for future Yeah, that's expansion. right, Mike. Yeah, so it's going to come with a 16 gig card. In the box. Yeah, so okay. 24 gigs right out of the box and of course easy to expand with a micro SD card. What, do you, what are the biggest micro SDs on the, on the I market? Think 32? We're, I think we're around 32 for, for a typical. And, and we said the built-in's eight. So I mean, you could be at 40 gig Yeah. and just be able to pop out 32 gig. And that's right. You can take them out and put, in, okay. put more in. Okay. Exactly. So the camera's an eight me megapixel. It's a beast with the onboard flash. Way better than the iPhone. That's a five. <laughs> yeah, that's a five. And it doesn't have a front-facing camera, so that, no that's a minus chat. on it. So no video chat. Yeah, but but it, it's yet to see how that's going to take off. That's new for everybody. Yeah, that's right. I don't know right. if anyone's going to use and, that. Yet. And the camera in the back will capture video at HD quality, 720p at 24 frames a second. Okay, so that's pretty good little mm -hmm. movies. Uh, what about connectivity? It is out there. Uh, you got an HDMI port. That's right. But it only outs, outputs HD via the phone and video gallery, so not from streaming services like YouTube or Vcast. Or yeah, and, and that's one of the things a lot of people like to take advantage of is watching YouTube or, or some of these other subscription services yeah. or maybe Hulu yeah. um, when so you can never get it. If you have a video or a photo loaded on the device, you can output that to HDMI, right. HD. Exactly. Otherwise, nope, not going to yeah. happen. So if you want uh, the granddaddy, daddy Mac I Android phone so far, the Droid X goes on sale next week. One ninety nine for a two year contract after a one hundred dollar rebate. And again, that's on a Verizon carrier. Mm -hmm. So you know, good alternative to some of the other ones out there. Hey, I like it. Yeah, check it out. That's the Mini Mobile Show for today, where you get your Mini Mobile news in 10 minutes or less. Yeah, check out theminimobileshow.mevio.com. We're working on getting the domain itself up and running, right. so that'll be there soon. I'm sure we'll get all the social stuff put together. We'll have Facebook fan pages and all that stuff. But again, it's episode two. So. <laughs> We'll, we'll get all that through you. And our affiliate, again, footlocker.com. Yeah, that's right. 15% off using the code AFCTECHFL. See you next time. Bye. Bye.